Hello everyone, Suntana Guy here, bringing y'all back another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for Nintendo 64. In the last episode, we just mainly climbed up Stone Tower to get to the temple. And let's just say, holy crap, I was definitely tired. In the last episode, even still, I'm tired, but I want to actually beat this temple before I go to bed. Because, again, I want to see how many more episodes I have left. Do I need to do dual uploads? Or, like, well, double uploads. Basically, I upload two of the same... Let's play, like part one and part two being upload, part three and part four upload, etc. etc. Well, I want to see how far, how many more other future episodes I need to have. And I'm praying and I'm hoping because it looks like I don't need to do that, but I have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm just gonna randomly carry the bunny hood around me. Anyway, welcome to Stone Temple Tower. Also, I'm gonna shut my mouth up because I did not let get let you all listen to the epic Stone Tower music. So I'm gonna shut up and let you all listen to it. I'm not saying near to um the stone tower theme, I'm just saying um near to the freaking rat and the dragonflies that kinda of ruined it. I probably should have taken care of them before I did anything else. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, now I remember what to do. Um, per usual. In any of the last four dungeons, there's a total of fifteen. Stray Fairies. This one... I... Hear a lot... I hear this one is a bit... In between... Uh, like, some people like it... And some people hate it. I find this one to be... The most unique... Out of all the temples. Because... Each temple centered around you... Based off your mask transformation. The Forest Temple, the Deku Mask... The Snowhead Temple, the Gora Mask. Uh, the Great Bay Temple, the Zora Mask. And because we're on the last temple, they're going to start having us take advantage of the strength and weaknesses of the masks. Also, you're just going to blow up anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hit you. Same to you, get over here so I can kick your rear. Even though I never watched King of the Hill, I know the famous line of kicking your rear. Yes, I know what the actual word he says, but again, I don't like cursing. I prefer saying stuff my own way. Did I just see a switch that's upside down? Oh. That looks like a nightmare to deal with. Dealing with... Switches that are upside down. So glad I'm watching Sugar Conroy's Let's Play. Otherwise, I would probably get lost. I bound to bet you all two, first-timers especially, have gotten lost in this temple.
And don't worry, I have not forgotten about how to do the bong, the song, like I did in the last episode where like two or three times I kept forgetting it. And so I had to write it down my notes until I finally I was able to do this without need to look at the notes. Okay, so there is one other mass transformation solar statue that I did not get to show. That is the Deku Mask. I mentioned in the last episode that it could potentially be either good or bad. Well, guess what? The thing's useless. Because of how lightweight the Deku Mask is, it's just useless. Like here, look at this. I could just stand right here, but the switch will not go down. Even if I were to do that, it wouldn't matter. But I can at least show you all what it looks like. That's a lot different than what I saw from Shug Connerly's video. I think in memory serves, um, let's see, his video was 11 years ago. So that was way, oops. So that was way before the Wii U even came out. So most likely he was, I mean, the Wii U, excuse me. So most likely he was let's playing it on the Wii because it was graphically wise, it was a more better looking game. Unlike me, where I'm doing the N64 version. Um, on the Wii version, those have white eyes. Unlike the Goron and Zora, where their eyes are pure white. Oh, it's a grass. We got a dragonfly. It can die for all I care. You too can die for all I care. I'm just seeing a lot of mean stuff. And let's see. I'm going to use the blast mask again. Trust me, you're going to need that. Next, I'm going to get the Goron mask out. I love how the weight guy moved down a bit. Huh. Okay. So those guys are fakes. I mean, those guys are the real deal. However, the ones over there. I don't trust them one bit. By the way, there's a little hookshot thing up there, but before I do that, I want to get the chest. You found the dungeon map. Let's see how this dungeon looks. So, there's only two floors, but the way how I see how this dungeon works, it looks like there's going to be times where I'm going to have to flip the temple to being upside down. But I have no clue how to do that, though. Anyway, I'm going to do this. Punch. Punch. I can see. Come and get me. Ah, dang it. I'll just punch you instead anyways. After that, that little chest will appear. Kick. You got a key. By the way, these, um... Guys right here, um, you can just grab them and push them. They do not come to life. They're basically the real ones. 
The non-real ones, the fake ones, is when they come to life. Okay, gonna need this. Up, up, and away! Got my second stray fairy. Now we can just simply go back up. Let's see, there's a... Eh. Oh wait, what? That doesn't kill. Here, come in. Come here. Wow. I'm taking more damage from them than I am... I am from an other from a boss. But in the end, he died just the same. Okay. <sighs> Screw the enemies. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go for here. Oh boy, water. on our mask. And we're gonna let this, purposely let this Dixie hand grab us. Oof. Realism, right folks? Going to go around, go around it. Yeah, another small key. And what do these uh, boxes have for us? Magic, arrows, some lovely hearts. Oh man, I didn't get a chance to kill it. I don't know who cares. Heck, if I didn't get to kill the Dixie Hand, I might as well just kill, kill the Bile Baba. And I just got hit in the cutscene. Okay, we got another chest that we can't go at now. Got another chest that we can't go after. Oh yeah, I'm awesome. Let's see. Sorry about that ramp pause right there for me. Um, just shine the light the mirrors, but shine them for as long as you can. Ah, dang, I was meant to do the Zora link, but nope, I did normal link. Anyway, we got the compass, and we're about to get blown up. Let's take a look. Um... Oh dear. There's... a lot... of treasure chests. Anyway, before we get the heck out here, shoot... that. <sighs> Upside down. How nice. And I was about to go the wrong way. Hmm. Mostly just hearts. Man, this game is gonna have me do a whole lot of becoming Goron Link. I mean, becoming Deku Link, Goron Link, Zora Link. Great, these guys are back. Knowing little fudgers, aren't they? Like the thing up for as long as you can. Aren't I awesome? What are these guys? That's a uh, Nijiran. I probably just said it wrong. Don't get too close to it, sniff sniff. It smells like gunpowder. So, from what Sugar Carway said about these guys. 
So what Shu Conway says about these guys, they're basically mimics. They're they look like Gorons, but they're not Gorons. That's where the wrong part is from. It's from Goron. Charge this for as long as we can. Same thing here. You sons of guns. You ruined everything. Charge this for as long. Same thing here. Well, I can kind of see how this room can be a little challenging. Because you're dealing with these little fudgers that are just everywhere. Come on! You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, I am now back after a few failed attempts. So before we go out there, let's mess around with some of these sun guys here. You start to kindly piss off. See, this one here unlocks a chest. I think the other side doesn't give me anything. Nope. Nope. And of course, no. Let's see what's in the chest, shall we? Geek. We got another straight fairy. How nice. And there's, um, there's 40 rubies back there. It's... Kind of up to you if you want them or not, but I don't really need them. So, I'm gonna transform to Goron Link. And now, as Goron Link as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread man. I don't know why I went right into that. Yeah, this will probably take me a few tries. Makes that worse is that because of the dang time, I am now behind Sugar Conroy's hours. I usually try my best to keep up with him. But if I'm gonna constantly keep failing, that makes it worse. The bloody camera angles that throw me off. Dang it! I'll be right back again. Finally! Freaking finally! I hate this. And look at the time, too. Look at my time. You know what that means? After this temple is done, I'm going to have to reset time after I get the stray fairies first. Back where they belong. That was a real pain in my rear. You have so many obstacles. This spit a bit. You have so many fudging obstacles in your way. What the heck happened there? 
Yeah, I was trying to actually go back here and show up there's a chest right here. Is this a stray fairy? Oh wow, it actually is. Oh well. By the way, if you, you spin back it. Okay, guess I will be doing this backwards. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I thought that would actually work. That would be cool too, actually. Um, going backwards. Weesh! That kind of actually reminds me, um, of Sonic Heroes in a way. Oh, shoot. Risk it. I was not far enough. Going up. Can we go higher? How do you get that far then? Is this gonna be like the one part? I think this is what Shikarwe meant by Hey people, you're not gonna like this section. I can see why. Getting the ferry is difficult by getting onto that switch. And now I'm in a awkward position here. Ooh! Man! You really gotta be close. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. But you know what? Let me try this strategy. Go back a bit, move forward. First, the Goron Crap. Now this. How do you... Actually, wait. I'm gonna stop right here. What?! But that looked like it was perfect for me to get through there. Was close. How many more fudging attempts am I gonna have to make just to get over to the freaking other side? Look at that. I'm just a few pixels off, and I'm just struggling to get anywhere far. What? We're going backwards again. Because at least that gives me some form of time. And that's gonna fail, isn't it? Yep. How did... Be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Okay, apparently I've been doing something a bit wrong. Let's try to do this. Actually, wait, you know what? No, I've done that part so many times. Because I'm going backwards, it's going to look awkward. Wait, this could be my chance. Mm. This whole freaking part is just going to be me. Like, towards the end of this video, it's just gonna be me, constantly doing this. You know what? I'll just meet you all over there.
I'm back. I realized what I was doing wrong. I was not let go of the button. Anyway, six stray fairies and then exploding bombs you. Let's see, nine. I'm really I'm about to reset time. Anyway. Come on, I'm trying to tell you. That's the Goro Master. You can't find him like an ordinary Goro. Just dodge the swords. So basically, just wait for an opening. Come with me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not in the mood today, you freak. Try to back into a corner, see if that can work. Oh, I'm supposed to. Okay, I'm just getting myself destroyed. Okay, get behind him. Or just do that, that makes sense. Let's do that. The miss, do that. And there we go. To think I could be defeated, although my rebel, you... Although, my rebel, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born and the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget those words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. <laughs> that is the law of us Garo. <laughs> and I wound up on the treasure chest. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to open it up as Zora Link again. That's what I get for being tired. Anyway, we got the light arrows. You know what? Let's see how much time because I'm gonna be doing a big okay that time is not as bad as I thought like 40 minutes for the original time anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end off today's video oh, excuse me next time on the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask we will be going further into the temple if you enjoyed today's episode please Share, like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.